Hello everyone. Here we'll try to learn how to draw posterior column tract or dorsal column tract. For which we have to draw first the cerebral cortex where these dorsal columns they are going to end. Then we have to draw the pons. This is the pons and um, this is how it looks pons then you have to draw the medulla where you have to draw the nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus and this is the medulla then you have to draw the spinal cord so this is the spinal cord where this is the anterior part of the spinal cord and this is the dorsal part and this is the, uh, the gray matter so this is the gray matter of the spinal cord the dorsal column tract it arises from the peripheral parts the first order neuron from the peripheral part they are going to enter into the spinal cord to form the first order neurons from the spinal cord to the thalamus they will form second order neurons and from the thalamus to the cortex they will form third order neurons so thus the fibers carrying sensation from uh, fine touch vibration proprioception uh, tactile discrimination two point discrimination they enter into the spinal cord and in the spinal cord they are going to ascend unlike uh, the spinothalamic tract they are going to decussate to the opposite side at the segmental level okay. here they are going to uh, form synapse in the nucleus uh, cuneatus and nucleus nucleus gracilis and nucleus cuneatus okay. so this is how they are going to form uh, the synapse and they are going to cross over in the medulla to the opposite side and they ascend up to the pons the pons from the pons they going to further ascend up in the opposite spinal cord and end in the thalamus the ventro posterior medial nucleus of the thalamus then they are going to innervate or the, rather end into the parietal cortex that is area 3 1 and 2